So in 2013, we had a little grant money and we bought our first 3D printers. And we opened it up over uh, the Thanksgiving break and printed our first part. And the moment that happened, we realized this was a game changer. Our program is focused on additive manufacturing, which everyone else in the world refers to that as 3D printing. And 3D printing is a, is a revolutionary technology. A lot of folks don't even understand how powerful it is. And our objective here in this lab is to not only show the very, very basics of what 3D printing can do, but also take it to that next level. So I've read about it, I've seen the process numerous times, I've, I've been in discussions on it many, many times, and it, it still is somewhat over my head. And it's almost a source of pride for so many of us in Somerset, Pulaski County, and it should be for all Kentuckians to know that this was started right here at Somerset Community College. The technology to actually go from design to an object sitting right there in a matter of minutes was going to change everything. It was going to free engineers up to design things that were completely impossible. It was going to allow fabricators to actually make something without using the normal skills. They can be doing something else while the printer's running. And I think the very, very first thing we actually printed was a batarang. You know, it's just something simple. But having that realization put us on the path to creating an entire program around this. From that point in time on, we started looking at the biomedical applications, actually printing off uh, skeletons, actually printing off MRIs and started presenting it to different folks. And what happened then was we got the attention of the National Science Foundation. And they reached out to us and said, you know, we'd like you to submit a proposal. So we began the process and actually we were funded by the NSF ATE program. And we began to create curriculum around it, introduced our first course and then a second course, and then started uh, showing students and technicians and industry leaders what the technology can do with low cost equipment and then just built it up from there. And part of the other story is this, that it's not always about the equipment, it's about the design mentality. So part of our approach is to really focus on teaching someone how to think additively, think 3D printing, and let equipment they can buy off Amazon for $400 make that object possible. And we have over 100 students just this semester taking our courses, and it's growing. And our objective is to actually put the power of this technology into every student's hands all across the state. We often help folks understand 3D printing by saying, imagine you take a glue gun, and instead of actually wanting to go out and buy a, a vase, you take a glue gun and you were to make a circle. And you keep making a circle. And you make a bigger circle and a smaller circle, and you keep going up, and eventually you have an object that was never there before. You didn't cut it out of material, you didn't do anything to carve it, it just was there. And that's how 3D printing works. It actually starts with nothing and just lays down material one layer at a time. But the really awesome thing about the technology is it can essentially make anything. Anything that you design and come up with and can create a computer model for, maybe even take a 3D scan, it can turn around and make that. And the great thing about the technology is that anyone can use it. One of the softwares that we train students on at the very beginning is a software called Tinkercad, which is designed for kids. And you can actually design your own little product and send it to a printer and a printer will make it. And not only that, it allows it to be made out of materials that we've never had access to before. We can do it in plastics, we can do it in metals, we can do it in uh, nylon reinforced with Kevlar, we can make it in gold, we've even got a chocolate printer in the lab. We're not about circling the wagons around this, we, we think this is a skill set that everyone needs in any profession, whether it be culinary applications, obviously auto tech, whether it's engineering, biomedical, surgical capabilities. You know, we can actually print parts that can be used right in surgeries and then thrown away. And that technology is just opening the doors. It's actually a way of thinking of it as barrier removal. One of the really exciting things about this journey, especially here for Kentucky, is that we were able to start uh, essentially with nothing and build up something that is world class. At this point in time, we have some of the most advanced technology that's out there, and we continue to bring it in. We have uh, metal applications, an SLM machine that actually prints in metal. We have some low-cost equipment that can print in metal. We can do stainless steel. We can do titanium. We can do these composites that are uh, crazy amazing. We can print in marble. In fact, actually, right behind me right now is an object being printed in a composite marble. You go to your higher-end companies, your research-level groups, and their engineers know additive they're pretty much going to say that additive is a disruptive technology. At this point in time, it's, it's undeniable. And it's disruptive because it has removed the barriers to so many things. 
It's removed the barriers in terms of, of complexity of product, for one thing, but it's also removed the barrier of entry. I think the statistics are that most everyone has about six ideas a year that can make them a millionaire. The, the barrier is taking that idea to reality. Again, here we are at Somerset Community College, uh, ahead of the curve, uh, being able to, to design and manufacture uh, these particular pieces of equipment uh, that I think, again, is just the tip of the iceberg of the growth that we're going to see in the aerospace and automotive sector. Right now, we're at this perfect point where these companies, these engineers, these designers realize this is where they want to go, but they're missing one crucial thing, and that is a workforce. The sense the focus has always been on the higher level learning of additive and not on the technician level learning. It has created an ultimate opportunity for Kentucky. And that was our goal. From 2013, we wanted this to be in the grassroots hands. The work that they are doing, they have truly stepped to the forefront uh, in leading the Commonwealth of Kentucky, leading the country and offering a certificate uh, for the additive manufacturing, the 3D technology. Uh, just the, the work that they are doing now, we know that they're laying the foundation not just for a year to come, but for decades to come. And the things that we're doing now, uh, I cannot imagine what that's going to be years from now and how that's going to, to look to all of us.